We've got a lot of fun methods left for uh, iterators and closures, and the next one is called cycle. And cycle is uh, just as fun as the others, and this is an iterator that um, it never stops. It uh, Let's say you have a, you know, a vec of a 1, 2, and 3, uh, like that, and we are iterating over this, and then we want to you know, uh, iter make it into a cycle, cycle iterator. And then, uh, you know, it'll give some one, some two, and some three. And then instead of returning none, if you get a none, then it starts, uh, it actually clones the iterator over again, and it's, it starts from the beginning. So then it'll give you one, two, three, over and over again. And you can see it in the, uh, in the declaration here. So it makes this uh, cycle struct. And if you look inside here, you have the blah, 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 public struct cycle. And the part that is, uh, the part that matters is this. So if you look at next, you can see, um, you know, it's actually pretty simple. It matches, uh, you know, the next thing uh, that you call. And if it's none, then it, uh, it clones it over again, and then it uh, does next. And then if it's anything else, which will be, you know, a sum, it just, uh, it just does what a regular iterator does. So here is um, a fun example of how to do it. Uh, it's it's kind of uh, one way to to do it is to like combine it with a, uh, with a with a range. So let's say you have a you know you want to do something 100 times and you want to cycle over uh, some items. So I. Uh, you know, came up with this, you have this, uh, something called even odd, and it's just uh, even odd, even odd. And I'll make this into a, uh, into an iterator, and then we are going to zip over it. And you remember zip is you take uh, one iterator, uh, imagine that these are the, uh, the items there, you know, zero, one, two, three, and you put them in, make them into an iterator and zip it together, and they become, uh, you know, tuples. And uh, so we are going to do that. So we'll make it into an even odd vec. So from zero to six, we are going to zip. And what are we going to zip? We will zip uh, this thing here. So even odd into iter, and then we will cycle. And so now it is, uh, you know, it has become a cycle iterator. And then we're going to collect. And uh, let's see, where did that go? Going to collect it into a vec of well, what's it going to be? Uh, we'll say it's i32 and a stir because these here are stirs, and uh, and then we will do that, and we are done. So even odd vec. And there you can see we have changed it into this. Uh, you know, we zipped it together, and so we, this uh, this here, a range is also an iterator by itself. You don't have to do anything with it, and so we're just uh, you know zipping those two together. So that, uh, and then on the subject of that, um, you know, ranges. Uh, one other thing we haven't learned yet is that when you have a range, you know, zero to ten, zero to one hundred, you can actually just uh, also do zero dot dot and this is a range that uh, that goes forever and that uh, usually you'll want to do like uh, you know take 10 or something like that you see those methods a lot so uh, I'm going to uh, let's delete this and then we'll look at the next example that looks at uh, ranges a little bit so I called it 10 chars and of course you can uh, do the same thing with uh, with chars so this is a uh, you know, unlimited chars starting with uh, with lowercase a. And of course, it's not unlimited because we're only, only going to take 10. Um, and that's the only way you would want to use this because you actually don't want to do something forever because, you know, it'll crash the computer. So we have to tell it uh, how many times we wanted to do that. And so we uh, collect these this into a vec of chars. So, uh, you know, it'll go up to like... Uh, what is it, K, I think? And then skip in 10 chars. We're going to do something similar. So here again, we have a, a dot dot, start with that. And then here we're going to skip, say, okay, skip 1,300 times. 
and then we're going to see what kind of characters we get. You know, 1,300 steps down the uh, the list of uh, of Unicode characters. See what kind of uh, funky language we get here, and uh, and then you know, let's print it out. So there we go, ten shards, and then print line again, and uh, this is called skip then 10 terrace and what do we get mm -hmm, mm -hmm, skip then you can see how how helpful the uh, the compiler is you know it almost it knows uh, what we were trying to do there's a there's a local variable that uh, has almost the exact same uh, spelling and there you go so we have gotten all the way to Armenian you know you you start at a if you go 1,300 characters down, you have Armenian, you have like sh, you have ch, you have p, you've got, uh, I forget what the characters are called, but I know what they're pronounced, v, r, roll your R for that one. And so that, uh, yeah, that was, um, you know, um, how to do an open-ended range and, uh, and how to, uh, what did we do before? Cycle, that's what it was. I'm going to uh, type it up here so we don't forget we also learned cycle.